fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson 8, estimate volume. Investigate. Izzy is dealing 20 boxes of crayons to a children's education organization overseas. She can pack them in one of two different size shipping boxes. Using crayon boxes as, cubic unit, as a cubic unit, about what volume is each shipping box in crayon boxes? What shipping box should Izzy use to mail the crayons? So this is cut out, fold and tape the net to form a rectangular prism. Label the prism crayons. You can use this prism to estimate and compare the volume of the two boxes. So basically what we did is we just took a crayon box and then we took two different size baskets that were acting like our boxes to figure that out. Using the crayon box that you may count to find the number of boxes that make up the base of the shipping box. Estimate the length to the nearest whole unit. So number of crayon boxes that fill the base. So this would be our small box or basket that we're using. So about how many crayon boxes do we say would fill up our small one? Four. Okay. So four boxes. And then our large basket we said would take about how many crayon boxes? Eight boxes. And basically we decided that was a two by four, right guys? And then this was a two by two. So starting with the crayon box in the same position, count to find the number of crayon boxes that make up the height of the shipping box. Estimate the height to the nearest whole number. So we said for the small box, it was about how many units high? Three boxes high, right? And then for the large basket, we said that it was about four boxes high. Box one has a volume of so we would take four times our three layers and get what? Twelve. Twelve. So we'd take about twelve crayon boxes to fill our small basket. And box two has a volume of thirty-two crayon boxes. So Izzy should use box box two because if she used box one, would she be able to get them all in there? No. No. To ship the crayon. Draw conclusions. Number one, explain how you estimated the volume of the shipping boxes. We found about how many crayon boxes would fit in the base of each box, along with how many boxes tall could be stacked in each box. Then multiply the base times the height. And that got us our answer. Number two, analyze. If you had to estimate to the nearest whole unit to find the volume of a shipping box, how might you be able to ship a greater number of crayon boxes in the shipping box than you actually estimated? Explain. So we kind of first talked about how it's kind of like with money. When you go to the grocery store and say if you bought something there's $7.59 and you're trying to decide if you're going to have enough money, you wouldn't actually just add seven fifty nine. dollars You round it up to 8 because you know you have taxes and things like that. And then therefore, you might have some money left over to help pay for other things in the end or have some change to get back. So we just said we would use a lower estimate just to make sure we had enough space. Then there might be more room left at the end to pack more. Make connections. The crayon box has a length of 3 inches, a width of 4 inches, and a height of 1 inch. The volume of the crayon box is what? 12 cubic inches. Using the crayon box, estimate the volume of the box at the right in cubic inches. The box to the right holds how many crayon boxes, guys? On the like on the bottom layer, how many are there? Four. Four, right? Okay, so we know there's four. Then, uh, how many layers? There's five layers. Okay, so it goes five high. So five times four is twenty. Multiply the volume of one crayon box by the estimated number of crayon boxes that fit in the box at the right. So we said 
Um, basically, we know that there's 12 crayon, 12 small crayon boxes that fit inside just this one box, right? And we said how many boxes are in this cube that they would ship? One. So 12 times 2 is 24, and then add a 0. So the volume of the shipping box at the right is about? Share and show. Estimate the volume. Each tissue box has a volume of 125 cubic inches. So there's, like, each one of those little boxes inside the bigger box is 125 cubic inches. How many tissue boxes are there in the larger box to the right? Nine. Okay. So there are nine tissue boxes in the larger box. The estimated volume of the box holding the tissue boxes is nine times 125. So I do 125 times nine. Five times nine is five. Carry my four. Two times nine is plus four is so the two carry my two. Nine times one is plus two is so one thousand one hundred twenty-five cubic inches. Okay, over here it says check for the volume of a chalk box is sixteen cubic inches. So one of those smaller boxes inside that larger box is sixteen cubic inches. Now we need to figure out how many of those chalk box boxes are in that big box. So it looks like there's how many in each layer? Four. Guys, how many times oh, do you six. six? That's how many times you see the word chalk written on the top, right? Now, how many times do you see chalk written down the front of one of those columns? Three, five, four. four times. So how many boxes are probably in there? 24, because you have six in one layer and you have four layers. So we would have 24 times what? 16. Times 16. So six times four is? Four. 24, so I put a four, carry my two. Six times two is? 12. Plus two is? 14. Mark off my two, mark off my six and put a? Zero. Zero. Four times one is? Four. Two times one is? Two. So plus, so four, eight, three. So the volume of our large box is? 384. What? Cubic inches. Cubic inches. And could I also just write inches cubed? Yes. Okay. All right, the volume of a small jewelry box is 30 cubic centimeters. So they have one, one of those little boxes in the big box is 30 cubic centimeters. So how many are there in there? 10. Is there layers of them? No, there's just one. So we would do 30 times 10 and get 300 what? Cubic centimeters. Okay, so with your partner, you guys are going to do your on your own problem solving, sense or nonsense. Marcel estimated the volume of the two boxes below using one of his books. His book has a volume of 48 cubic inches. Box one holds about seven layers of, book, of books, and box two holds about 14 layers of books. Marcel says that the volume of either box has, is about the same. Does Marcel's statement make sense or is it nonsense? Explain your answer. So Marcel's statement makes sense because both boxes should be able to hold about, and we put 2,688 books. Is that right, guys? No. No, nope, it should be 2,688 cubic inches. inches. And basically what we did was, we said box one has seven layers that hold eight books, so, 7 times 8 equals 56. Then we said box 2 has 14 layers that can hold 4 books. So, 14 times 4 is 56. And then what we did up here was we took 56 times 48 
and that got us 268, and that was the same for both since they both had volumes of 56 to begin with, and then times for the amount that each book takes up. 